Okay everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how you can convert Blender models so you can use them with the Source 2 engine, mainly for Construct 2 maps. And if you want me to do this for you, you can hire me on Fiverr for as little as 5 bucks. I will convert your models and this, making sure that they're fully optimized so as not to negatively impact frames per second. So on sketchfab.com, you can download free 3D models. In my case, I selected this one from a spaceship. You're going to download it and you're going to select any format. In my case, I'm selecting GLTF. This format needs to be extracted. So after that, I extract it to my desktop and you're going to open up Blender. I recommend you use the official version of Blender that you can download from Steam. I'm currently using version 4.4. This is free to use. You don't need to buy it. It's open source. OK, so delete everything you see on screen and drag and drop your GLTF. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to delete anything that you don't want to be using. I don't want the entire model. That would be too heavy also. I just want certain parts of the model. So select these parts. I don't want them. OK. OK. OK, there's a little, some objects, objects in here. OK, now here, because these objects are the same thing, but they're repeated, what I'm going to do is select everything. OK, now with A and shift click any part of the model and control J. So in this case, I am merging all of the meshes. So it's a single object. Now press tab select first go select x-ray so you select everything across and you're going to delete those parts of the mesh that you don't want because those are the same thing i'm just going to in case i'm you know making need more of these objects all i have to do is simply uh, add the same object two or three times okay so here's our object you're going to enable statistics so you can take a look at the data you can see it's only 25,000 vertices this is perfect and this is important, you want to simplify your models, because otherwise, look at the original one, it was 356,000 vertices. That is quite a lot. We don't want it to negatively impact performance. But if I select the object and I try to rotate it, you see, this is the pivot point, so I need to fix that. Let me undo, go into edit mode, press A to select everything. Let me lock the set axis so I can have a view from above. Press G to move and move it to the center of the screen. Now. Same thing, I'm going to look on the x-axis and I can move it just slightly like this so it's perfectly centered. This is going to make our lives easier when we bring the model to the Source 2 engine, to our maps, so that we can rotate it, you know, like this and so on and so forth. So yeah, so now that we have our model, what we're going to be doing is we're going to expand here our outliner and we see that we have several different materials, okay? So three materials, six, nine, and ten. So these materials are what you would call textures. So we need to mer merge or make those textures to be a single one. So expand and go and shade the editor with the first material selected. Shift A, image, texture. And you're going to zoom in. Make sure it's not connected to anything. It must be floating around here alone. New. 1024 would do. So this is gonna, we're going to call this like... Uh, Capsule color. Yeah, that's the name of the image. 1024, no alpha. So new image. Copy it and you're gonna paste it across all of the materials. After you paste, click to select. Paste, click to select. Paste, click to select. Repeat this process with every single material that makes up your model. Now there are ways to automate automate this in case you have like say a hundred different materials you don't want to do this by hand but i'm not going to cover that on this video because this is a very basic tutorial so split your screen select uv editor go into edit mode press a to select all of the vertices in your image in your scene go to data uv maps and add a new uv map like that so you see that the uv maps overlap each other so uv Smart UV project, unwrap. Now, if you press A in here, you see there's some dead space here on the sides. So if the UV unwrap is doing that, it's not optimal. So you're going to go instead to UV wrap minimum stretch. OK, so now it's taking more space. I think this is better. So after we've done this, you want to go to render, change the engine to cycles, change the render samples to 10. This is an image, is not a video, that's going to help us with performance. Select GPU if available, minimize and go to bake. Go into object mode, 
select your object and you're gonna hit uh, you're gonna select diffuse this is the color image deactivate lighting because we're gonna take it of the light lighting is gonna be calculated in game by the source 2 engine and hit bake okay so there's our textures uh, yeah I'm seeing a lot of dead space as well but well I think that's not a problem so image save as desktop space um what name did I give it yeah I guess space capsule and attach color at the end select JPEG so it's much much better so with JPEG if the quality is gonna be a bit less than with PNG but the size is gonna be compared maybe five megabytes to only one megabyte so JPEG and I'm gonna compress it just slightly okay so save that image and I also want the normal map the normal image so bake mm, there's no information on this normal image anyway so I'm not gonna use it let me see right here the roughness okay the roughness maybe there's some important information in here yeah but not that much anyway yeah but anyway let's save it so space capture this one's gonna be rough same thing JPEG and let's see the ambient occlusion, what else? Yeah, I think this is gonna be enough. I don't need anything else. Okay, after this, with the object selected, go to data and delete the original UV map. Go to materials, and you're gonna delete every single material. New material, and you're gonna drag and drop the two images that you just created. So, the first one, the color one, connected with base color, and the roughness. You're gonna drag in here and you wanna connect it to roughness, of course. Okay, so let me go here to the viewport shading so I can see a texture and there is our object. So if the textures are all messed up, do not show up where they should, probably you forgot to delete or to add a UV map or you selected the wrong image. So with this done, you're gonna go into file export FBX desktop this is gonna be your capsule space capsule yeah selected objects this is the object that's selected and just export FBX great so now let me minimize this now you're gonna go into your construct workshop tools you want to create an add-on in my case I already have one Called Mars, that's the name of the map so far. So in the asset browser, go to MD, model doc editor, and you're gonna create a new model. Okay, so you're gonna add meshes and you're gonna go into the contract corner folder, CSGO add-ons, the name of your add-on. And in here you wanna create this folder called models and another one called materials. So inside of models, you're gonna bring the FBX. And inside of materials, you're gonna bring the two textures or three textures in case you have a normal map too. So select the models, select the space capsule, that's the model that you just created, and you compile. Save it over there with the name space capsule, the same name of the FPX for to keeping things organized. Okay, so there's our model with no texture. So minimize this screen, create the new material. A default material and you save it and again go into your materials now from your add-ons folder and you're gonna save it like space capsule okay give it a descriptive name so it doesn't get confused with other materials so open up and select the JPEG image that corresponds with the color and because I have the roughness texture as well I'm going to select the roughness texture too. Okay. All right. So after that, just save the image and you can close the screen. Go back into the model editor and you're going to add material, default material group, space, capsule. There it is. Compile. And there you go. That's our model texture. Now, we need to add also a physics mesh so the players can interact with it. So add physics, 
physics whole file and you're going to select the same FBX. And you can see this is the way it's looking, it's pretty simplistic. If this is enough for you, that's great. But if you want the player to probe, to, you know, crouch below this model, then you want to come here and change the hole to hole per mesh or per element. This will look much better, but be mindful that this can be can give you tons of errors. In this case, it's not working, it's just inconsistent hole. So probably you want to ramp up these values like that. There you go. Now it is working. It's much, much better. So yes, so in this case, the hole mesh, for example, players can throw stuff at it and it will react to bullets and so. So this part still is transparent right now. Maybe I need to go a little bit less. Yeah, a little bit less there. Okay, so you want to find a perfect balance because keep in mind that you don't want too many vertices or verts or shapes in here. You just want this to be just enough. So as not to negatively impact performance. Remember guys, performance is extremely important in this game. So compile it and exit. So let's go into a map now so we can test this out. I already have this map created in here. I have another model that I have brought, so create a prop static. This is a simple map, and you select the space capsule. There is space capsule. There you go. Let me bring this down just slightly. Okay. And in case you're running with VRAD problems, I'm gonna show you one quick way to actually solve it. So let me delete this stuff. Okay. So now if I try to compile this very simplistic map. You see, um, when I hit build, BRAD's not going to properly work. It's going to give me an error, even though I'm using NVIDIA, which is a ray tracing capable graphics card. Um, there you go, unable to run BRAD. So to solve this, you can roll back your graphics card driver, or you can do this little trick, which is you want to add one light, see you on screen, light omni two. hit are all the values, and several default props from Inferno that will reflect the light of uh, and the shadows from this light, as well as this mesh, this wall. So I don't know why, but this is a solution that I found, you see, so that in this case, the map will compile. Let me show you right now. I hit build. And there you go. Now VRAD is working and the map will launch in just a few seconds. So yeah, pretty simple trick, but it works with my graphics card without the need to roll in back my drivers. Even though at one point in the past I did it, I decided to try and find a different solution. And actually this one came like a, uh, like a nice accident, if you will. I realized that I was able to compile maps even after updating my graphics card. And it was because of that. So yeah, here I'm on on the map, and there's our 3D model. Okay, looking great. And my player can interact with it. You know, walk around it. Can even slide down. Let me see if I can jump in here. Yeah, I can get in here. And there's our mesh that's reacting to the bullets. Great. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was useful for you folks and that you learned something new and stay fun, stay continue mapping and I'll see you next time if I decide to make another tutorial. Bye bye. Oh, and by the way, if you want me to convert your models, uh, don't forget to contact me. I will do it for again, five bucks. Thank you so much. Bye bye.